So let's see a few comments related to the roles. So easy auth roles list will give you the list of roles available. So audit admin, backup admin, and the test role that we created. If you want to view roles view audit admin, so you can view all the privileges and members added to that and everything detailed about that particular role. So here you can see read only is true in the sense it is read only. If the read, on, uh, read only is false, then it's like read write. So these are the privileges easy and scope and a job engine. So uh, to run a job engine to modify uh, to uh, to check the jobs, you will need this privilege and easy privilege hardening and uh, so easy preview event so check the events you will need this privilege and easy preview cluster for uh, any kind of cluster activities and monitoring and uh, ssh login papi login and uh, console login so these privileges you need and when you check easy auth users list so this will give you all the local users list and when you want to add the user list local list you can see the local so the name system and finance both are active and status the auth groups list this will give you the list of groups available in local and you want to list a file so here you can see the file and z auth privileges list So here you can see a list of privileges and its uses. So easy prev upgrade is for upgrade the system and retrite is yes. So these are all things that you can do. Uh, so here you can see uh, the na namespace travels is retrite is no. So you will not be able to add this particular privilege as a, as a retrite in any of the custom custom based role. So if you are like uh, read write is no, which cannot be added as a read write and that can be added as only read only. And here you can see uh, the IFS restore, file restore is not available as a read write. And uh, same for a backup file as well, that can cannot be made as a read write. So these are all the privileges that are available. And, uh, Easy auth this auth refresh will refresh all your uh, configurations and the AD and if you want to check the uh, AD easy auth status so whatever the I mean the providers not the AD the providers list it will give all our active status and if you want to add any user Z auth user create and uh, give a name for the user. Let's give test user 3. Done. So now this user is created. Z auth users list. So here you can see test user 3. And let's try to delete that user. Z auth users delete test user three. yes and it's deleted so this is how you create delete users in CLI and you can check the roles and if you want to add the user to any of the, any one of the role you can add that as well and so these are all things pretty much you can do uh, in CLI in terms of uh, roles
that's it for this lecture we'll see you on the next lecture